Again, on my way to Cappadocia for the hot air balloon ride, and it's going to be minus one there. And that, and the balloon goes about at least more than a thousand feet in this kind of cold. Mm. Getting ready for it. Uh, we will, um, they're supposed to show us the sunrise over Cappadocia, the hills. Open, open space. And uh, I hope I'm dressed warm enough. I've got layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of clothing. So we've landed at Kesaria Airport. Woo! This is the fastest balloon ride that we can take here. And uh, off we go. pictures so here's some for you to watch along with me that mountain that you see in the distance these are the caves we're going to see when we get to it Look at that sunrise. It's a sunrise, not a sunset. And man, look at these balloons. So many of them. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> it's like riding a cloud. Only there is no cloud. Now I know what Superman feels like when he looks down at the ground or maybe Aladdin on his flying carpet. Look at that view! Oh my god, Cappadocia mountains. There, there are mountains with caves in them. In case you've forgotten, that's me. Fantastic! Oh, look at that. I'm so glad I did this trip. It's the fastest ever that I could have done, but I'm really glad I did this. Turkish tourism has done this fantabulous thing that they've got entire hotels in these cave mountains. And we have a fire breathing balloon. And you can actually have that whole experience of living inside a cave. So spend that time, book yourself a cave, and live inside that room and enjoy that whole claustrophobic experience. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Book yourself a cave and live like the wild animal you are.
They're telling us that there is this ancient, ancient church inside one of these caves. And oh, oh, there it is. Look at it. There it is. Do you see that? Do you see that altar? Or is that a bench? I don't know. Is it a bench? my flight, back to Istanbul. 